Good day everyone. My task today is to teach you how to make a banner using Microsoft Publisher. So we'll be using Microsoft Publisher. Uh, using Microsoft Publisher is somewhat uh, advantageous in the sense that it is much easier for you to make because there are prepared templates that are available. Okay, let us start by opening this Microsoft Publisher 2010. Okay, here is it. There are different templates available. Okay, since we will be making a banner, so let us click banner. And uh, as you can see, there are different templates depending on the occasion that uh, you're going to make. So, meaning banner is not only uh, used for con congratulating somebody but uh, you can also use this one in uh, greeting somebody for their anniversary for their birthdays and whatsoever or even to give information or if you have to send something or somebody to welcome so there are different uses of banner Okay, let us uh, make a banner, for example, a birthday banner. You want to greet somebody who is having a birthday. So just click birthday and then create. Okay, so it is now initializing. So we are reset. As you can see, uh, you already have the format. You already have the template. Plus, you already have the design. It's up to you if you will change the font style. You can also change this this picture depending on the picture that you want. For example, you have a picture in your in your computer. You can just delete this one and change with another. Okay, I will be teaching you how to edit this one. So let us see. We want to add some text. Okay, just click and then type. I will be writing here my son. So it's up to you to add any, any text. Okay, so it will automatically be adjusted. Okay, so as you can see, it is automatically adjusted. So let us say you want to uh, change the background. As you can see, we do not have a background color that is purely white. So what are we going to do is just to click this design and uh, click background. Then you can select what what background you can have solid you can have gradient background depending on the style that you wanted since i have here my son so i think it's much better if i will be using blue color okay so that's it you already have a blue background and then if you want to change let us say you want to change the picture just uh, click and uh, delete and then you can uh, insert picture let's say for example from clip art or from your computer or from the pictures from your computer so let's say i will be uh, getting the the clip art just click clip art and then uh, search for what particular pictures are you going to have so I just have their birthday then go so we are searching for uh, clip arts so you can do it also by clicking pictures so we are trying to find something if there is pictures for birthday in my computer Clip arts. Okay. 
okay so it seems that we only have one so just click it and uh, you can have it here so just move this one just right uh, just click just click and then position uh, uh, wherever you want to place the picture okay just click it there and then we have to just uh, resize of uh, whatever size you want to also okay you can do the same in the other the other side let us say you also want to change this one so this time i will be uh selecting the pictures from my pictures okay so let us see if i have some uh, photos available in my computer so just click or let us see balloon i think i have a balloon photo okay uh, let's see okay here is it i have a balloon okay you can place this also in the middle or the side of okay. it so i have already changed my pictures so the other one is from my tip arts and the other one is from my uh pictures okay so you can also change the color of the font or the text or you can change the style just highlight this one uh, let us say you want to change the color so whatever you want you can make it red you can make it uh maroon blue or whatever you want so what do you want okay let us have it red and you can make it uh bolder and that also will be uh, visible to do so or reading okay so excuse me okay. then let us see we want to change the the border art so what are we going to do just click it there and then right click also and then we can format the auto shape okay so just click border art so, or oh, you already have the border art then just do this one for you to choose what style are you going to use so it depends on you what kind of style do you want to use in this kind of how do you select this creature fish not not related to birthday so let us have 10 days 10 days i think this day for the hair is it the other color I started a while ago. So that's the pink one. Okay. And then, okay. So, so for, you can also change the color if you want to. So, what color do you want? Just like that. Let us see if that is as good. Okay, you can also have that one. Or, you can change whatever border art you want now if you are already contented of your design and it's now ready for printing you can uh, save your project by clicking file save us then you can write uh, publisher a publisher uh, banner birthday banner Okay, that's it. And then save. So it's now ready for printing. So we are done with our project. You already have banner for a birthday for your kid or for my kids for my job. 
Okay, see you guys next time for more tutorials. Thank you for um, stopping over. Bye-bye.